Today, I build a shelf. Or I start to attempt to build a shelf. Alright, so I'm out here today. Working on building a shelf for next to my computer to hold my printer. And... I'm not very good at sawing things. So this is what I've gotten so far is this piece. And... I'm not a very good carpenter. Can't really saw things straight. You know, I measure things twice as much as I can, but I can't make straight lines. Like whether I'm cutting with some scissors or with a with a pencil, even if I have a straight edge. And I can't saw in a straight line. That's not my specialty. The 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 shelf here that I mentioned in another a vlog that was a uh, built with a friend of mine. Matthew, and because he's good at doing that stuff. And there's other people who are. There are people good at doing that stuff. I'm not one of them. So I'm going to continue working. This is so tiring. It's so sweaty. Got all this, you know, sawdust on me. Got one more cut. Well, one more cut for the legs. <sighs> Alright, so I'm done. The sawing part for today. Look at that mess. Yeah, I didn't show you guys me actually saw anything like a time lapse. Mostly because I saw really horribly, and I don't follow proper safety. I don't wear goggles. I don't wear gloves. The main reason I don't wear gloves is because I have small hands, and the glove tips are always anyway. So that's another reason why I didn't show you guys any of the stuff as I was doing it. Um. Now I gotta clean up and then I'm gonna use wood glue to kind of create the top of it, I guess. Anyway, just wanna tell you that's why I don't show you guys me doing the work. Because I suck at it. So, how I'm putting this thing together is I'm using wood glue to create the legs supports. Then I'm gonna glue on the legs, let those sit overnight, and then the next day come in and drill screws into them to actually. Provide the final support. So what we got here is the top. This is the top. And what, we're, what I'm basically going to do is glue a little piece, of, piece here, about maybe about right there. And then I'm going to put this piece here. So it's going to look like, sort of like this, once it's done. This will be glued to here, and then this will be glued to this and this. And I'm going to let this, this sit overnight. And then in the morning, Put some screws right here to, to kind of give that final final support. But these are the legs. So it's upside down right now. But yeah, these are the legs. They're, you may be asking why am I using three quarter inch plywood? It's because this is the the max. The biggest thing this is going to hold is a printer, which is like five pounds, maybe ten. So it doesn't need like super sturdy legs. And after that's going to have maybe like a microphone on it, uh, this camera. So it doesn't, it doesn't need super like durable support, like huge two by fours or, you know, wooden legs that are like, you know, the size of like, you know, a nickel or anything, you know, like that big, you know, this, this little bit of board, four of these will do. Well, I hope so. We'll see. All right. Just want to go over what I've done so far. So these are the brackets that will have the legs onto them. So these are glued on right now, and then I'm gonna glue this to this and leave all these on overnight. And then tomorrow, drill, drill. And that should do it. Anyway, we'll work. Just finishing up the fourth leg here, putting the wood glue down. What I did first was put these down, clamp them, and now I'm putting the, the last leg on. And these will sit overnight to harden. Anyway, this is end of day one. Alright, so day two. 
I've already started working on it. I've put in, I don't know if you can see, these little screws here and here on each corner. And now the basics for the table is done. Now I'm going to add a shelf about here and then a shelf about here. And that should help stabilize these thin legs. Because they are kind of wobbly, but I kind of knew that. That's why I'm going to put a shelf about here and about a shelf there. I just got to cut the two shelves out of this thinner piece of plywood because the shelf, the shelves underneath aren't going to hold heavy stuff. Top one's going to hold the heaviest thing, and that's a printer. So, and, I'm, and instead of using huge braces like this, I'm going to take this little sheet of or sliver of plywood and cut little little pieces to screw here, and then just glue the plywood on top. So that's what we're going to start doing soon. Here come the jets. <sighs> Alright, so I got the first shelf completed. Ran into some problems. So I had to build this crossbeam because this leg was bending too much this way. So I had to do that so I could push it out a little bit. And I put these little pieces, as you can see on the bottom corners, bigger on the, these sides because... Bigger on this size because of having to put that front brace. But it looks look it looks like a lot of shit, but it's my shit. Now I just gotta build another leg, and then I can put all this glue down and be done. Alright, I'm all done. Just gotta sand some edges down and glue the shelves down, and it'll be ready to go for tomorrow. My sister has offered to paint it. Yes. Because she likes to paint and do stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, here it is, complete. So there's the top shelf, the middle shelf, and the bottom shelf. They're just kind of sitting on here right now, but but you see, that's what they're going to be glued to. And everything's real stable. Printer, printer will go on top, tools, video tools, and everything else on the bottom shelves. Anyway... That's it for today, for day two. All right, so this is the shelf that I built. It's a little different now that it's been painted, as you can see. My sister was painting it, but she was taking too long, so my mother stepped in and just decided to paint the whole thing black. As you can see, the shelf is done, and it is in place, and everything's neat for the time being. Top of the desk, mostly empty. Except for the stuff that I need to have there. So, cool.